Hi everyone, as you know, I'm Sarah Hornsby and I am a myofunctional therapist and I work with people online and I make lots of videos like this so that you guys can learn more about myofunctional therapy and dentistry and your health in some new ways. And today I want to tell you that this field is changing and I'm meaning myofunctional therapy, I'm meaning awareness around the airway, dentistry, so much exciting stuff is happening and we're getting more and more research that's validating the role that the tongue plays in the airway and how myofunctional exercises can help with sleep apnea. We have studies connecting tongue ties and poor facial development, meaning poor airway development. We've got lots of exciting stuff going on. So I want to make this video to kind of let you guys know that for the longest time, no one was really paying attention to this stuff. No one was looking at the airway. No one was looking at the tongue. No one was looking at mouth breathing. And now I'm excited to say, they are this is changing and i was just looking at the upcoming conference from the american dental association they've got so many speakers talking about the airway so this is really exciting and when i say the airway i'm referring to breathing to tongue posture to um, expansion and forward facial development in orthodontics and then also how do we help people with sleep apnea how do we help people with sleep disordered breathing um, who basically have a really poor quality of life because they don't sleep well. So we've always known that CPAP machines can help people. What we're finding is that dental appliances and myofunctional therapy are also very, very helpful. So we've got research talking about this now and it's very, very cool. So um, this video is mostly just to update you guys and let you know, look for this stuff. Look for all of these um, research articles that are coming out look for the speakers i can't believe all the speakers at the american dental association annual meeting that are talking about the airway and pediatric sleep dentistry and stuff like this so um, the reason that this is so exciting to me is because as we start learning about the airway and it becomes more of a mainstream thing myofunctional therapy gets put on the map because the tongue is a critical critical part of the airway. Same with mouth breathing. If your mouth breathing, if your tongue is low, your face will grow improperly and you'll be more likely to have airway issues as an adult. So the more we start looking at the airway and the structures in kids and adults, the more people are going to start looking at myofunctional therapy and they already are. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think you guys should all have this on your radar. Keep that in mind next time you go to the dentist or if you are a dentist or a hygienist, um, look around, start kind of seeing who's out there talking about what and see if you can see anyone talking about myofunctional therapy or the airway in your area and if you can learn a little bit more about it. This really is the future of dentistry and it's a big changing field um, for myofunctional therapy as well. This is a really big deal for us. So, all right, you guys, thanks for listening to my update and I will talk with you all later.